I may be becoming a bit world-weary, but I've recently realised I hate stuff. Objects, things, possessions, belongings. I mostly hate them all. I vaguely remember a time when I used to like stuff, but now I mostly hate it. Having too many physical objects in my life makes me stressed. So when did this happen? A month or two ago, my wife bought me one of those wearable fitness trackers that you wear on your wrist. It had all the features — heart rate monitoring, calories burned, steps taken, floors climbed, REM sleep monitoring, and so on. It did everything. But my first feeling when she handed me the box was, what will I do with this? Do I have any interest in using this? I'm already a fairly active guy, and I simply don't think I would benefit from using one. I then started to think that by owning a fitness tracker, it would just add unwanted complexity to my life and end up stressing me out. Instead of me owning it, it would end up owning me. So I naturally asked her how much she paid for it. I was thinking, if it was only like 20 bucks or something, then I would have just kept it. But she told me she paid $199, a really good deal, because it was down from $279. I was like, what? No, 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 sorry, I can't accept it. That's just too much. Anyway, I explained my feelings to her towards it and that I thought it would just cause me undue stress. I told her I was already really active every day and it wouldn't benefit me. She understood and begrudgingly took it back to the shop and got a refund. Luckily, she confirmed with the sales assistant beforehand that she could get a refund if I changed my mind. I thanked her again afterwards and I think she realised why I didn't want it. I felt like a little bit of a dick, but it was either she return it, or me put it in a cupboard and never use it. It would have been a waste of money. And I know I would never have used it. I don't want a machine on my wrist beeping at me or telling me how many more steps I need to do or how many more minutes of sleep I should get. I don't want to have to worry about downloading tracking information onto my computer or phone and then analysing it and working out the best ratio of steps and sleep and VO2 max and all the rest of it. No, thank you. And that's when I realised that I hate stuff. The thought of having unnecessary junk in my life doesn't interest me anymore. I did an experiment the other day while my family and I were down at the local shopping centre. We went into Maya, a local department store that is typically quite expensive, and I created a thought experiment. What if I had $10,000 to spend at Maya? I had to spend it, and I couldn't exchange it for cash. What would I buy? I didn't tell my family what I was doing, but the kids were happy to explore all the different sections over the three different floors. I looked at everything. I was looking at shirts, jeans, socks, shoes. Nah, none of it I needed. I was looking at backpacks, luggage, travel accessories. No, no, no. Again, nothing. Expensive microwaves, toasters, TV sets, smartphones, jewellery, aftershave, serving platters, glasses, plates, beds, linen, half-price Christmas trees. Nothing. I wanted none of it. Even if the $10,000 was literally given to me, there was absolutely nothing I wanted to buy. Sorry, I'm not trying to mock Maya, they've got lots of nice stuff. It wasn't the shop per se, it was my own attitude towards life. Of course in reality, if I was given a $10,000 Maya gift card or the like, I would take my friends and family down and buy them stuff they wanted. I wouldn't let it go to waste. But I certainly have no interest in splurging on myself. And that's where my life is at the moment. I have no interest in wasting my money on stuff. Does that make me a minimalist? I found a few different definitions of minimalism, but some are obviously just the ideas of individual people. For example, you must own less than 100 things. You can't own a TV, you can't own a car, and you can't own a house. By that definition, I'm not a minimalist as I own a car. But I know for a fact, if I didn't have a wife and children, I wouldn't own a car. I love walking and riding and would relish not owning one. Others say, to be a true minimalist, you must only own the clothes on your back. I think that's probably going a bit too far for my liking, but I understand where they're coming from. When I walk into friends' houses and see the ridiculous amounts of stuff they have collected over the years, it stresses me out. I can't understand how people can live like that. Ten different baking trays, five sets of wine glasses, three vacuum cleaners, two dining tables pushed together, multiple computers, Basically, shit everywhere. That's not for me. I hate stuff. Of course, there is stuff that I use every day that I do enjoy using like this computer, or the kitchen knives when I'm cooking, or my hiking shoes when I'm out walking. I'm not a complete minimalist. If I don't have enough socks, of course, I'll go out and buy some. If my shirt is torn, I'll throw it out or use it as a rag. I'm not insane. 
but I don't like having excessive amounts of stuff, and if I did, as I have found out, it creates unwanted anxiety in my life. I actually do enjoy shopping when it's shopping for stuff that I need. Every week, I take great pleasure in going grocery shopping. It gives me a chance to think about all the meals that I'll be preparing for my family, and what new recipes I might try out. It's not the act of shopping that I hate, it's the shopping for shopping's sake. It's the unnecessary spending and collection of things that don't enhance my life. They actually detract from my life. I'll finish with a quote from the movie Fight Club. Do you know what a duvet is? It's a blanket. Just a blanket. Now why do guys like you and me know what a duvet is? Is this essential to our survival, in the hunter-gatherer sense of the word? No. What are we then? We are consumers. We're the byproducts of a lifestyle obsession.